Okay, so this video will show you how to link your buttons so that you can open um, new screens or new worlds from them when you click on them. Um, just to show you, I've added on the play screen and option screen just some text so we know when we go we get to them. Um, how to add text can be covered in another video, but it's just uh, for demonstration purposes here. Um, so you'll also see I've got another object here, but just ignore that for this. For that, um, it's only just to show that text. Okay, so looking at our start screen, when we click on the play button, I'm going to go to see the play screen. And I click on this options button, and I'm going to go to the options. Um, so in the button code here, what I'm going to do now, so we're going to add a new property into the constructor for the button. Um, and what we're actually going to pass it now is the world that we want it to go to when it's clicked. Um, and I'm going to call this link. Um, now this button is going to need to store this information so it knows when it's clicked to go to there. So we're going to need a property. It's going to be of type world. And I'm going to call that link as well. So once this link is sent to us, we're going to set the link for this button to equal the link that was sent when the button was created. Okay, so what we're going to do with this link? Well, when this act um, function here will run um, and can check when the, um, the button has been clicked on. So to do that, we're going to need an if statement. We need a green foot. We're going to check for a mouse clicked. Okay, so if the mouse is clicked on this button, then we're going to change our green foot world and set the world to the link that this button is linked to. Okay, so if we set, for example, if we pass it the play world, then when we click on it, it will go to, to that screen there. Okay, let's compile that. Oh, we've got an error. Okay, now the errors occurred is because in our start screen now, um, these aren't now set correctly because at the moment we're just sending the button a single parameter. We now need to send it two. Um, so in the play button, the second parameter is going to be the screen I want it to go to. So I want it to go to the new, a new play screen. Um, and just to point out, so this play screen that we create here, if we go to the button, we'll be stored inside this link here and be set to the link in the button. So when we click on it, it will go to the play world. And for the second one, we want it to go to a new option screen. Okay, that looks okay there. Right, let's give it a try. No errors. So if I run the program, if we click on the play button, there we go, it goes to the play screen. If I reset that, run it again, click on the options, it goes to the option screen. Now obviously, ideally, I would have another button on the option screen, which would send me back to the, the home screen if needed, rather than having to stop and restart my project. But it's obviously the same techniques that you've seen um, that we've used already.